Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I've got here a cast iron pan. This is one of a set of three. It's the smallest of my cast iron pans. When I invested in cast iron pans, I bought three. Um, and I usually end up using the middle and larger size ones. This one doesn't get used as much. Um, and you can see that it's not been looked after. It's very neglected. Um, the patina, which is the nice glossy finish that you build up the more you use a pan, has kind of eroded um, and rusted in places. Uh, that most likely happened when I washed the pan. I turned it upside down like this and I just left it to drain and I didn't wipe the water off. Um, the thing about cast iron is when you leave water on the surface it tends to rust so you really do either need to wipe them dry or just place them back on the heat which is what I do with my middle and larger size pans. Um, so I'm going to fix this, there's no reason to throw your cast iron pans away, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do um, and they can last forever. You know, they can last for ages. Um, so they're a good investment um, as long as you know how to care for them and look after them properly, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to scrub this pan really well and get rid of all of the rust. I've just got some washing up liquid in here. Adding a little bit of water and then just scrub it as hard as you can. Right, once you finish scrubbing, you want to wash all of the liquid off and let this dry. Right, so that's nice and clean now. I'm going to pop it back onto the stove and let it dry before I apply oil, oil to it. I've cleaned my cast iron pan and dried it off. It's completely dry now. I've got here some linseed oil. You want to use an oil that reaches a very high smoking point for this. Um, I bought this from, I think, an Indian grocery store. This is supposed to be really good for this purpose. I will list in the description box other oils that you can use for this, um, but don't use like vegetable oil or your normal kind of like cooking oil because that doesn't really work. And then what you want to do is you want to apply a generous amount of this oil to the pan um, and wipe the excess off. Um, and you're going to pop this into the oven on the highest temperature it can go and um, leave it to bake for an hour basically. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a nice glossy finish. It will cause the oil to heat up past its smoking point and create a lovely patina, which will then give you a new um, non-stick kind of like surface. So wipe all the excess off. And get your oven nice and hot. If you leave too much oil on the pan, what will happen is it will be sticky. So you really just want to leave a thin layer on the frying pan. This is ready. It's going to go into my oven, which is nice and hot. Right, so once you've allowed one hour for the pan to bake in the oven, you want to leave it in there for a good two to three hours before you even attempt to take it out. Reason being, cast iron stays hot for a very long time, and if you've got young kids, the safest place for a hot pan is to be in the oven. Once it's cooled down completely, you can take it out and use it as you normally would. Um, you should have this really nice glossy finish. As you can see, there is no rust or anything on the pan. The bottom looks really nice and glossy as well. You can repeat the process and you can build up this non-stick surface, the patina. Um, and that's basically how you do it. As long as you avoid using a lot of um, acid-based recipes in the pan, things that have tomato or lemon juice in them, the patina will stay good for quite some time. And periodically, you want to do this just to make sure that your pan stays in good condition. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Take care.